Mar Tomada and welcome back to my channel How to Be You A journey to knowing yourself better and becoming at your best So we will be talking about This is actually part 2 on how to say no The first part is why learn to say no So for this video we will be talking about how How do we say no Because I know this is quite hard Especially if you're not still used to it. Mahirap naman talagang minsan mag no sa ibang tao, diba? But there are, again, as what I mentioned, there are times that we have to say no. And saying no is actually not just to other people, but also to other activities that we think that we have to say no. And it's for our own good. Okay? So, let's start. So, the first one that I would like to share in order for us to practice how to say no is to, for us to have a clear objective, a goal, or a purpose. If we know what we are doing, if we have a clear objective, crystal clear objective in a particular concern, saying no will be much easier. Mas madali nang mag no kung alam natin yung purpose natin, alam natin yung patutunguhan natin um, by saying no. If you don't, Okay, if you don't have a goal or an objective or a purpose, so you will just end up, you will just end up saying yes to anything and to everyone. And I think that will create a lot more stress than simply practicing saying no. Okay, so madaming examples, madaming pagkakataon na you have to say no. Let me just give an example. This is just my example. Naglalakad ka sa isang street and then may nakasalubong kang nagtitinda. And yung tinitinda ni Kuya is something that you don't need. Okay, so inaloka ng product niya. And sometimes, people, what people do is they just buy out of out of just nahiya, nahiya tumanggit, no? If that's your reason for buying, then I think that's not really good, no? Unless you really wanted to buy that product, you were convinced, maybe you can use it for something, or uh, minsan, minsan naman talaga mabibili tayo na Siyempre, uh, ramdam like. natin yung nagtitinda. Especially pag yan, AC Manang, okay? And we just wanted to have them. That's good. But if you just buy something and you know that you don't need that and just because you're a little afraid, baka may sabihin or nakakaya lang, hindi ako bibili, then I think that's not really good no, for ourselves. So, simply saying no, especially, for example, again, may product na inalok sa'yo and lalo na kung pricey naman and it's out of your oh. budget it's not within your budget and especially if you have a goal uh, may target ka for this year kailangan ko makasave ng ganito so saying no it's not a bad thing okay it's actually healthy for us we just uh, have to learn when and how do we do that okay another example is you're a student and you're preparing for an, for an exam, for example. Nabukasan exam yun na. And then, some of your friends or even sa mga kabarkada mo, nagyayang mag -gimi. By the way, um, saying no is not just saying no to other people, but also saying no to other activities, other stuff that don't go with your goals. So, again guys, if you have a clear objective, if you have a clear goal, you have a goal of um, doing good in your exam, in your at school, meron kang goal na pumasal, then it's easier now to say no to other stuff, other activities, or to your friends. Instead of spending that time, gimmick muna, why not study first, okay? Hindi masamang mag-enjoy, um, mag-relax minsan, that's also good for us. But what I'm pointing here is, there are times, you have to know the timing, and you, you will know it with yourself. Um, if you have a clear objective. Number two, okay, number two is, Simply practice small steps of saying no. Okay, so just practice. Practice saying no. Um, take small risk one at a time. And then, this would, this would be my last tip, okay, on the how. Because it's um, really a matter of practicing, again, guys, within ourselves. And once you do that, okay, time will come in the long run. You will. It will be much easier now for you to say no if you have to know that bear in mind that you have a choice okay you have the choice hindi pwede yung wala akong choice mag yes na lang ako wala akong choice no 
the truth is you have a choice and that's a gift that we all have our free will our choice so it's a matter of uh, being a good steward gamitin natin yung choice na yun for us to be better and to make better decisions in life so and let me give another verse for you guys in philippians chapter 4 verse 13 that you can do you can do all things through christ to give you can strength. do it so if there are things or times that you have to say no even if it's your family and you know and you believe in yourself that it's for the good then go for it okay and okay so that's it for our how to say no. i hope you learned so, something guys and please uh continue this journey with me um let's all grow together uh please comment also below on what are the things that we can do what are the things that you can think of ano pa yung namis ko and sulat nyo dyan, type nyo dyan, comment down below so that we all we are all learning at the same time here. Okay, thank you for sharing this time with me. And I hope to see you again guys next time. Bye for now and have a good day. God bless. Bye.